parallels between Bill Bessett and Getty Lee are more than evident in his 1972 publication entitled Rush. What fucking theory? A study of language. Please welcome Gregory Betts, who will offer his insights on his subject and introduce the man who taught Getty Lee to sing, Bill Bissett in Rush. What fucking theory? Is that Rush reference because I'm from St. Catharines? I'm thrilled. How do I do this? I'll just do this. I was not born a citizen of Lunaria. I was kidnapped and taken there by Ross Priddle and Laurie Emerson and Stephen Scobie. I proved an easy convert um, but rest assured that the Bissett syndrome is much more powerful than the Stockholm syndrome. That was back in the 1990s, and like a lot of young writers in their early 20s, I imitated Bissett's stylistics in what I thought were original ways. My parents thought I was demented. Um, they believed that there was something wrong with British Columbia. <laughs> but my parents um, represented everything normal, um, and that gave me an insight, um, or at least I, summar I surmised from this experience, uh, that there was something similar happening across the country, which gives me my first insight into what was going on in Bissett's playful and weirdo texts that beneath the play, there is a radically disruptive po politics at work. On a technical level, Bill was a gateway drug for experiments with concrete poetry, sound poetry, collage, and small press publishing, and especially community building as well. His Blue Ointment Press served as the center of the Canadian counterculture for a generation. But behind all his formalist games or eruptions, there is this radical politics that's been hardened by his own confrontations with the ideological state apparatus. The language revolution was an exit from the oppression, an opportunity to imagine otherwise. BP Nickel in Toronto, away from Bill, wanted to know more about this animus of his writing, and commissioned the book. Write a book about your literary theory, he asked. What fucking theory, Bill answered. <laughs> he wasn't looking for a theory, for closures. He was looking for a way out. This book is a manifesto against theories that think they've arrived. It is a manifesto exposing the fascist implications of conventionalized spelling. <laughs> it is a manifesto against Ulipian constraints. It is a radical scream against self-satisfaction, against any writing that grows comfortable and smug when so much remains to be done. In the privilege of revisiting and editing this book, uh, there were a lot of people who rushed quite literally to our aid and to our insight, uh, offering uh, stories of their own reception of the book, stories of their own receiving of the book, extending all the way to Bill, who recounted stories of the production of the book. My collaborator in this, um, Derek Beaulieu, who co-edited this with me and helped to assemble it, um, is obviously not able to be here tonight, being out in Calgary, and he sends his regards and offers a salute of love and magic rainbows <laughs> to yours truly. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge, though, Mark Goldstein and Jay and Hazel for taking the time to, to do this properly, and I'm talking about the labor here, Donato, that went into this. 
This is a book that resists being edited in a lot of different ways, um, and that's part of its manifesto quality. Um, but there's other people to acknowledge too, especially Michael Turner out in Vancouver, who was an amazing resource in discussions leading up to it. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the ambassador of Lunaria, who slid down double magic rainbows to join us, who brings us jaded postmodernists a vision, if not a feeling, of the peace on the other side of the exit, if we'll dare to join him. Bill Bissett. Thank you very much. It was awesome working on this with, uh, with Jay and Hazel and uh, Greg and Derek. It was a wonderful experience and to be part of this. And I want to thank uh, Jay and Hazel very much for doing this and Greg and Derek for working on this with me. And uh, for having me here tonight is like excellent, uh, amazing evening so far, yes? And yeah. excellent, yeah. isn't it brilliant? Wasn't everyone wonderful already? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, excellent raging. Um, so I'm gonna read only from Rush, What Fucking Theory. I don't know why, is that because it's getting launched here tonight? I just wanted to open with a new mime poem I'm working on. <laughs> Accent raging. Now when and 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 now I'm living now and now you're living now and now and now and now we live and we live in a blood running through its mouth the pure mind the pure mind the pure mind has a has a has a has a a blood running through its a 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 through its mouth how how a kashinia a speaking Speaking, speaking, speaking. The eye is speaking. The eye is speaking. The, the eagle talks. We this the eye is speaking, speaking. The sound of stones uh, speaking, speaking. Uh, a voice of snow is speaking, speaking. Our hands rush out. Uh, hands lift out. Uh, hands reach out. Uh, our hands reach out to the beads. Uh, we uh, thread of the beads. Uh, we uh, thread of the beads. Uh, we a uh, thread of the beads. Uh, speaking, 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 speaking. The eye is speaking. For the evening talk, summer shan, a hey, a kisha, highly can, a shy, a shy, highly, rivers are speaking, the stones are speaking, the other stones are singing, the stones are singing, the river is moving, the air is moving, the earth is speaking, the earth is speaking, highly speaking, highly speaking, 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 the eye is a stone. Thank you very much. This was all written up in the Caribou one particular winter, which is uh, part of the northern part of the interior of BC. And it was in the early 70s. Uh, I was like, wow. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Have we got a time machine ready here? <laughs> and, and it was the most cold winter ever. It was Lucky me, that's the winter I moved there. <laughs> and nobody could get out because uh, we lived in a snow castle that covered many hectares. And <laughs> once every three days, we'd run around the cabin to see what it was like. But no breathing, please, because you'd get ice in your lungs and probably crack. So it was an excellent winter, and I remember one day we thought, what the hell, let's pretend it's warm. So a bunch of us went for a long walk. Maybe we took some medicine. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and technically, it was 50 below, but you know? And I think that was before Celsius. <laughs> and it was very balmy. The sun shone for a while, and we felt quite fine about it. Later that night, we hung out on the porch and watch the many spaceships coming across the lake, going over to Timothy Lake Mountain where there was a huge copper deposit that the, the ships were very interested in. Then we'd see them coming back with the copper and them going back home, I guess, to Lunaria, which is my home planet, as you know. <clears throat> Excellent. That was not in the book. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
And why not? <laughs> Poetry doesn't have to be about anything. Love, American imperialism, Canadian imperialism, French imperialism, the Kent State shootings, the Buckminster Fuller mainline hookup, the New York Electronic Corporation owning, controlling phone systems in BC, Quebec, Brazil, Great Britain, Colombia, Ecuador, Spain, Italy, France, Costa Rica, Belgium, Germany, Argentina, Asian corporations. What does it do? What good is a telephone to a starving person? Can you get food or love out of it? Hanging there on the wall, they had telephones then, or, <laughs> that's so weird, or on the table, <laughs> they had them on tables, here's a table, there's no phone on it. <laughs> A person on welfare, what can they do with an American, Canadian, British, Chinese, imperialist owned telephone, whoever? A poem doesn't have to be about anything. Often it can be about nothing, does nothing well. Don't have to be about how to, how to free enterprise. It's, it's such a, a big mind fuck. Making everything cost so much and gives us nothing, no free opportunity to share the secrets of glory. Boy, things have really changed since then. <laughs> Whatever they are. Or nothing, how, say, free enterprise makes us all fight each other, compete against time, or some total feeling of love and the mysterious trees. Without rhyme, you don't have to have it, or correct spelling by rhyme is built in the symbolist, a symbolic, a, a sound, a sound, a lick, a lick, a lick, a lick the sound, a lick the sound, I wanna, I wanna, I mean, in agreement, see, the, the sea jack hit the ball. Remember all the uh, milky most rhymes of grammar you got as a kid in textbooks printed somewhere else, somewhere, somewhere else. Grandma, a uh, grandma, a uh, grandma. <laughs> but a poem doesn't have to say these things. It can do nothing well. No one knows what it is. You get up in the morning and the yellow, the yellow, the yellow smoke and snake moves through the sky with the sun carrying it, the mosquito bites your fingers tender and the night, the coffee, you make a build, a hold, a build and hold the cup, a cup up, up in them. Uh, what you make, what is offered after the rain, wild onions, so good, what you do that the earth, grass, tree, sky is always within your sight, so beautiful you did not know. Writing poems can be about many things, can be about nothing but what itself is. Writing poems in a way is longer than we are, and what we can know, writing poems, is also the voice of these things speaking through us. How many people have the excellent flu that's going around the Carlton and Jarvis area? Oh, thank you so much. Excellent. <laughs> thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, ah, be, ah, oh, ah, de, ah, ah, be, ah, 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 oh, ah, be, ah, oh, gee, ah, de, ah, be, ah, ah, oh, 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 gee, ah, de, ah, Oh, 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 is a art, is a art, is a Archery is a uh, archery to the the heart is a uh, uh, here is a uh, here is a uh, the the he is a uh, he is a uh, he a uh, he uh, heart is a uh, uh, he is a r is a uh, wrath of uh, the heart is a uh, he is a uh, he is a uh, Ah is a ra is a ra is a a t is a a t a is a a crossing of the waters is a a crossing the wires is a ha you ha you a is a singing is a singing is a through a the trees is a a 
singing through the air is a air is a ringing ringing through the sky. The a people is a a people is a a reaching is a a reaching is a the heart is a a heat is a a heat is a a heat is a the heart is a a burning is a a fire is a the heart is a a people is a a joy is a a come is a a come is a a come is a is a birds is a a bird sa 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 is a sing see see a see is a a see is a a birds is a a birds is a a coming is a a he is a she is a he is a she is a he is a he is a a come is a a come is a a come is a he is a he is a a she is a she is a she is a he is a come is a a come is a a come is a a come is a she is a a come is a a come is a air is a hair is a birds is a the sun is a sun coming. Thank you very much. In the womb, we go through every fish on all four stage creatures, on all fours, gills, gulls, wings, birds. So what we are doing with words like watching the African animal show on TV tonight when this is where this is earth as boundaries, each as a boundaries, as fortresses, parameters, but blow it while well, blow it while well, ease in the juice come. That is a visualizations, the, the word we name, something, uh, something, something, things, things, unthings, uh, 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 sometimes probably uh, moving with what we've got the time name, something we know never moves. But that knowing moves so close to the to the to the hunt, even with the uh, bells of incense swinging back and forth over the jails, like the sentence paragraph is jail to the a free speech which uh, flows through the throat from a uh, deep inside within all the glands, the liver, cock, spleen, howl, cunt, kidney, insides, heart. There uh, don't change the sound which comes out change how it is from all what uh, reaches it a uh, come from come from comes from in the firelight the sound of mortar grenade in Vietnam two speech uh, patterns one in English or American French trying to destroy the people's temples higher sound how does it sound moving through the bush no fire the light moving over the grass in the morning what are you gonna do Cut with this. What are, what are you going to do with this? As they say, a concrete. What did what did you put the air? What you can't enclose your your tongue. You can you can put letters on top of letters. Dreams on top of dreams. Millions of tiny bubbles. Endlessly, we all sides. All there is no there is no side. There ideally, what is what is that? What moved toward you? What moved towards you? What moves in front of you? The the sound like the like the feeling. And you at the same time, each time different. So also the spelling, but that does not just like sound, that does not like sound, like, like that does not just like sound. Night nice song. If you can't make a U-turn for me, then piss on you. <laughs> Thank you. Joyce's use of the name Stephen Dedalus symbolizes man's aspiration toward knowledge other than convention and his resultant fall and exile from conventions upon discovery that outside of conventions there is nothing. <coughs> That's where we start, isn't it? <laughs> Dedalus, the Greek artificer, 
Artificer constructed the labyrinth to hold the minotaur. Moderate himself, he allowed his son to fly to the sun, from where the wax of his created wings having melted, he fell down to be swallowed by the sea. The myth construct of Daedalus and his son Icarus symbolizes the artist's search for reality beyond the conventional realities. St. Stephen preached that God was in all things, for speaking out against the idea that Mosaic law defined the nature of God, he was stoned to death. Since St. Stephen was the first Christian martyr, he symbolized that exile from the conventional world that is the result of search beyond conventions. The name Stephen Daedalus, therefore, symbolizes that to live outside of conventional values is to live in exile, to be on the outside, to live with nothing. As Daedalus, it is Stephen's destiny to become an artist, to search beyond the orders of the conventional world. Stephen knew from his early days that he, quote, was different, unquote, from others, having been unjustly punished by Father Dolan. He makes his case <coughs> to the director of the school, finally owing to his own sense of responsibility to himself throughout his life. He never really adheres to a group. So that's part of an early essay I wrote like when I was 11, I think, about portrait of the artist as a young man. And it's interspersed through the book. So as, as um, Greg and Derek have pointed out very brilliantly, it's a collages book. So you get chants, you get bits of song, you get political narrative, you get, you get this, you get that, and running through it is the seam. The seam. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. You get the seam. <laughs> is it on the seam, the theme? <laughs> hmm. Okay, excellent, <laughs> of portrait of the artist as a young man moving through it, and how, can we do art within what's known as society, or do we need to be outside to do it, to bring it in as an offering of exchange and see if they stone us or like it, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you never know, it can go either way. <laughs> Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I do feel safer here now than I did when I wrote this book. <laughs> well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> okay, excellent. And then there's a thing about um, just a couple more things then I'm out of here. Music, painting, bar talk, Led Zeppelin, from more conventional dissonance to actual expression of being. <clears throat> the rites of spring was years ago, a field you enter, why can't poetry, why does it have to be locked in the structure of 17th century bourgeois stuff chair art forms? Look how far music and painting have gone, always. But when it comes to words, they want the control, the correct spelling, the proof of your allegiance to the ruling class of meaning. We are dizzy. No, he said, no, there is nothing we can do about it. We are out of town in his state of mind, of course. The three sisters were becoming four sisters, becoming 12 sisters. I'm not here, I am sticking. The brothers were changing as well. Huge arms <coughs> and elbows into her. Already it's a valet by a swimming pool. She looks a lot friskier. My red spots increase. True, a sip of this and a bit of that. We drown and forget in any Martian society. Who is that? Add, 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 subtract to the letter. Release all the binary paradigms. There is, a, there is the other. There is no other way. Blackberry, Blackberry, Blackberry. Oh, the stars, these. Oh, they're succulent and quite drunk with them. Was it them that was making? Others have some medicine that will help a lot. And these names in which do you retire? Are your friends and afterward at confiture, at coffiers, where did, uh, where did the raid go? Is he lost and found speaking since I can see she wants to uh, be vulnerable? Did he turn his uh, mustache? He looks enlightened. I am not surprised. I am hurt spoons. I am sorry, borders. My poster, my posture, nobody else. When do we charge in a swamp? Things should work as well. They are very nerves going. Aha! 
a home and neon and motion and noon because uh, uh, people say things it's uh, uh, interactive why was why was why was why why of after cold uh, cold uh, how he leaves you he uh, he leaves you uh, uh, he hells doesn't he a uh, hell hell didn't he of the air of he of that of the hesitate we discovered oh 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 names again oh names again fiddle there riddle there goes the the hell on it and not a starving molasses harlequin uh, they asked me still they send a sunlight split with that's it that's it about oh what a merry merry many many and a uh, torches they have uh, nothing attached to themselves for five years somebody sends a clean break here i think it's a start can you cash this will they ask us honey bears will they ask us honey bears thank you very much thank you enjoy thanks <laughs>